Greetings Metal community, it's Roger back with another video, obviously. Um, yes, uh, VCLT from Simon, aka Pieface. Um, I got this several months ago, uh, just haven't... Kind of uh, hadn't fit, fit in to film it. Also a couple of vinyls that I've gotten from... From my friends for you know birthday and stuff like that just to force me to listen to a couple of bands that I have denied uh, listening to in a way or I will also include a black metal update a small black metal update in the end because it's kind of fit the some of the albums that I have received so uh, first of all uh, Pie Face he um, sent me some uh, single seven inches and uh, a um, CD and demo from a band called Doom of Formation and Definition of Evil came out uh, 95 I think uh, pretty good stuff uh, and kind of sounds a little bit like I don't know early cryptopsy maybe that kind of brutality at least uh, yeah I and uh, you know Simon knows that I like my old demo stuff so um, this was a pretty good one to get so cool stuff uh, the first single here was not in my wheelhouse to say uh, vulvectomy uh, crappy name <laughs> or a painful one there's the title it, by the looks of it it's Italian um, musically not bad but I, I don't kind of like this uh, br brutal type of brutal death metal uh, program drums doesn't sound very good at least to this type of music and the vocals is too close to the pig squeal so um, this was not a hit hit for me but um, yeah if somebody wants it I will of course pass it on that's how the VCLTs work but um, if not I'm gonna have to or I will have it in my collection, no problem. Um, I mean, I do like seven inches, but um, yeah, not not uh, my cup of tea. Um, uh, this one, on the other hand, is a killer one. Uh, this is a cere cerebral cerebral rot. I will struggle to say that uh, name, but a uh, great U.S. death metal. I think they are from U.S. This is uh, released on. Um, extremely rotten production this had these cool fold out covers that i really like uh, on singles you know excellent label from denmark uh, black vinyl with um, i think it was black no green vinyl yeah look black dark green marbled actually kind of cool sorry to say it mark but um this was kind of cool color i was thinking black when i saw it like that but um really cool yeah great i i really like this band so um very cool to get this one into the collection so uh, i'm not gonna pronounce the name again because i'm gonna fuck it up too early in the morning maybe and the last one is uh, another well-known coughing mulch uh, this is a um yeah, flexi disc. So I haven't played this on my stereo because I don't want my needle to play flexi discs. I do have several flexi discs. I think flexi discs are pretty cool, but um, I don't want to torture my needle. But uh, yeah, Coffin Mulch, great band. So uh, cool songs, um, cool song, um, supposed to rot. So yeah, very cool to have this in the collection, even though I, I won't be playing it. So thanks a lot Simon, um, I do have a package ready for you and I hope I will get it in the mail Monday or Tuesday or something like that, so uh, thanks. Um, when I, uh, one of my friends have kind of been forcing my hand a little bit on this uh, band uh, from Norway, Dötzengel. Very, very cool uh, artwork and a very cool release. Uh, like visually, uh, Dutch Angle, this is a double vinyl as well. It's a very weird band because they have a very kind of 
theatrical build-ups to the song. They have a little bit, for me, too much of the um, kind of interludes or, or these uh, long parts where there's not much kind of black metal going on, more ambient stuff or what I should, I should call it. So, um, so uh, they, they kind of fall a little bit off my radar because of that. Uh, I would say the black metal here is damn good. I mean, um, it's great drumming, it's great vocals. The vocals is very variated, um, great riffing as well. Uh, and another thing that I always said about um, uh, Dutch Sengel is, is the production is always a little bit off balanced. So on this album, it's kind of the drums and the vocals are kind of overpowering the guitars a little bit. Uh, but the music, when they play black metal, it's fucking great. Uh, but there's too much nonsense going on. They could have downscaled this to a single album and made a fucking killer black metal album. But as I said, these guys are kind of more into kind of a cin cinematic uh, kind of performance. It's kind of like they making a movie. Uh, with their music, so I understand what they're trying to do. It's just not resonating very well with me. But, but it's kind of a cool concept to build up the songs on it, and um, I really understand that people will enjoy this, um, you know, as a total package. But for me, it's kind of not working. And um, I get a little bit bored in between the good parts, uh, and I think it was the last song was just terrible. Uh, on this, uh, I really don't remember how it went, but it was just a repetitive. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if it was synth or guitar. I think it was just synth or something like that. But um, and as I said, the vocalist here is fucking brilliant. He has so many different kind of vocals. It's, it's a little bit like Attila in in Mayhem, not in in kind of the sound of the voice, but in the way he uses his voice to kind of tell a story. So it's kind of a storytelling album. You feel that he, he's kind of telling a story uh, with this album. And also, I have to say, the drummer is awesome. Um, killer drum work on it as well. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out that song, you might have to do it because uh, I think a lot of people will like this um, in, in, like, overall. Uh, the black metal, as I call it, the guitars, when they play proper black metal, in my opinion, uh, it's great black metal. So uh, if you haven't heard the single, I will link it up below so you can check it out. So when I came back from um, Inferno this year, uh, there was um, a couple of vinyls standing on my doorstep from a band that I also have. Uh, several of my friends like it. So I just have never bothered getting into um, Cult of Ghouls um, from Poland. Uh, think of with uh, that name that they were from France or something, but um, I think it's a Lovecraftian themed uh, band. Um, uh, I remember I have listened to this or tried this album once, and I understand why I kind of give it up because the first song here is not good at all. Uh, it's one riff or one kind of um, small section that is repetitive repeated in like seven minutes uh, not a very I, I do like repetitive black metal but this w was just not working for me but it's on the second track and, and out it's way better uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this I'm not totally sold on the um, the band yet but um, I do understand that I need to invest more time in it because there's a lot of, of good uh, songs on this album or a lot of good songs is only five songs but uh, long long tracks and, and they uh, craft it very well uh, it's kind of a you do have a little bit of that tsungwa, but they have a kind of a different uh, tone they are a little bit drier in the guitars um, also the vocalist here is kind of a little bit um, very uh, he variates a lot from from styles as well um, I also got uh, this um, handbane uh, from this this album from uh, 18, and it's called uh, 
Sinister. I uh, don't know what label it is on. This is from uh, uh, 2013, I do think. I like this a little bit better, uh, just for now at least. I think this is kind of um, a more... In a way, a little bit raw and a little bit faster, uh, kind of not so, I wouldn't call them experimental, but uh, kind of just the sound, I think, on the album. Uh, it resonated pretty well with me, and also a double vinyl. Uh, again, long songs, uh, I think there's four songs on this one. So, um, I don't know if this was an etched variant. This one song on each side so yeah so um you know thanks to my friends for the gifts uh, i do uh, i do appreciate it and um uh, but i need a little bit more time to get into them um, but I, I definitely changed my mind on it i will i'm kind of curious to uh, go back and listen to them because um, they were not so um boring and bad as i thought they were <coughs> Uh, rest of the stuff is um, not new stuff, but um, stuff that I bought myself, not gifted. In the background we are listening to... Um, uh, picked up a split between um, Hetrudsen and Dutzengel. Uh, so um, just talked about Dutzengel. Hetrudsen is a fantastic band, uh, black metal band from... Um, originated from uh, Chile, but um, have relocated to Sweden, or the two members have re relocated to Sweden and formed a new band there. Uh, pretty cool, um, what you call it, outlay, inlay, delay. Uh, yeah, just great. I'm a big fan of Head Rats and one of the best black metal bands that, you know, from the recent era. Uh, very, again, you have these very cool vocals um, and I'm sure a lot of you in, who are into black metal know about Hetrex and picked up uh, the first and the last uh, Negative Plane it's a it's a band that I kind of slept on for a long time but I picked up the previous album last year and I thought it was brilliant this is from last year but I just got it now because I didn't want the vinyl so uh, yeah, I just found this um, and uh, also the same seller had this one, so I picked up the first one. This is um, more kind of raw, primitive, more kind of direct, um, still the same style as, as it now, but, but this uh, new album is uh, very cool. I mean, uh, I don't know the right words to <laughs> describe this album because um, there's so much going on with the music here. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, there's a lot of heavy metal riff. There's a lot of doom metal riffs, but played a little bit faster. If you understand, it's almost like they take a, some Black Sabbath riff and just play it a little bit faster. Very cool. Um, cool voice as well. You know, he's not uh, shrieking black vocals. He has a very more <laughs> occult sounding vo vocal list as well. and. Uh, yeah, just a very interesting album because there's so much going on, so much different styles in a way, uh, but they have kind of crafted them into black metal, and uh, it's just cool. Uh, to, I really enjoy this. I need to listen to it way more than I have, but um, my first four or five spins and just kind of want me to listen more to it. And um, yeah, if you haven't heard Negative Plane, I'm sure you have Negative Planes. Uh, Great, great uh, band, and uh, all the three, I think these three full lengths are very good. Also picked up uh, Morkera, uh, you know, um, uh, Matt over at uh, Altar of Madness talked about this album. He had picked up the vinyl, I went for the CD, because the vinyl was a little bit expensive to get to Norway. Yeah, that's a... This annoying booklet that you have to pull out from the inside here, so I'm not gonna pull it out. It's just don't know why they do that, but um, yeah, uh, very different from the first album. Much, way much raw, uh, primitive sounding. Um, 
I won't say they have changed the riffs that much, but uh, but you know the, the vocal is sounds like he is kind of mentally ill. He's just shrieking out, you know, insanely vocals. Uh, very different from the other album that was kind of more heavier, almost like a little bit more death metal in it. This is pure black metal, uh, evil, twisted, uh, kind of like underproduced, uh, almost too underproduced in a way, but, but they are managed to keep it out. It's a very interesting album. It won't be high on my list this year, but uh, because uh, it just kind of, it's just too weird to, um, to put a name on. Uh, compared to the other one, it's just like two different bands in a way, but uh, also a very cool cover this year. So um, yeah, I'm sure uh, everybody who uh, picked up the album from last year will pick up the new one as well. But just be, if you haven't, it's a totally different um, uh, album compared to the last one. Then I picked up a band from uh, Iceland, Ulfud. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Ulf, uh, Ulf, Ulfud is kind of a wolf. Uh, something I don't remember uh, This uh, small booklet I kind of always think these are pretty cool um, when they have a smaller booklet uh, Kind of easier to to read by um, Icelandic uh, Black metal, but I don't feel that they sound very much like the uh, you know Mr. Um, and, and bands like that uh, they, I, I do get some death metal here, uh, definitely. Uh, uh, li a little bit though, like mellow death. I do get like some in kind of the vein of, of uh, at the gates, you know, um, some of that riffing type or the rhythm type of, of it. Um, kind of hard to describe the music overall because it's right between black metal and death metal and have some melo melodic elements to it, but they do it. Uh, you know, kind of harsh enough to not fall through and get boring, because I don't like uh, mellow death at all. Um, I do like death with melody, but um, but that's kind of a different era. So a uh, pretty good album. Uh, not uh, like it's not a fantastic album, but it's a pretty good album out on Dark Descent. So uh, yeah, I will link it up below and you can check it out if you want, you know, some black death metal uh, and it's kind of a little bit more, uh, it's not that deep, uh, you know, uh, humbling that a lot of, of black metal, uh, when they kind of turn towards the death metal side, it's more the kind of the, the dark doomier death metal, but this is more like, um, the, the lighter form of death metal they, they incorporate into the music. Pretty good vocals as well, and, and the production is very well uh, for that music. And the last but uh, not least, as we always say in our videos, um, this fantastic new EP by um, Balmog, Convent and Salt, con, con, Covenants of Salt, Salts, Salt Jeebus. Covenants of Salt. There we go. Um, if you don't know this band, uh, you have missed out because um, apart from the previous album, which was an kind of an experiment, they, they tried to they tried to, to make a modern black metal album last time and it was good, but it, it kind of didn't feel right with this band now because they are kind of more of a, a bit of a occult black metal, uh, a little bit a death towards the death uh, um, that in, in, in the heaviness. They have still kept some of the elements of the more progressive uh, albums, pre uh, previous album, but um, but they're, they're back to their normal style, I would say, and this is a fucking killer. It's one track, uh, I think it's 18 minutes long. Great, great song. Um, pure class black metal, uh, in my uh, opinion. It had a poster. Looks like that. And, uh, 
it's out on uh, black seed production I had to uh, think twice and also very cool uh, kind of holdouts uh, lyric sheets uh, there are lyrics here but um, um, they are written like yeah, it's terrible these are kind of it's words but um, yeah I'm, I'm not uh, trying to read them when I listen to it because it would probably fuck up your brain uh, but yeah I thought it was a kind of a cool touch with this fold out thing but yeah killer killer um, EP by Balmok and um, yeah thanks for watching <laughs>